This is Matthew Bro, a naval architect who had moved from Canada to Monaco and was working in the yacht industry when one day something happened that made him think twice about his new hometown. My oldest daughter is uh, she's four, and it was one morning where we uh, I was walking her to school, and she said, "Oh look, Daddy!" She said, "That's uh, she said I really like that car." She was pointing at a at a Lamborghini, and I said. I said, what do you like about it? She said, oh, it's just the right size for me. And then I thought, oh my God, I'm in trouble because when she turns 16, that's what she's going to want to drive. So I said to my wife uh, when I got back home, I said, I think it's time to move. <laughs> it wasn't long after that Matthew ran into middle point. Yeah, I just started looking online. I mean, uh, just looking at something on LinkedIn. And we just started uh, corresponding. And they said they had some uh, possibilities for people with my background and experience in the Netherlands. They asked if I was interested. I said, well, we're considering moving away from Monaco. So yeah, the timing is, timing is good. Now, there are very few Lamborghinis on the streets of the Dutch harbor town Flissingen, but it is home to world famous yacht builder Armels. And they just happen to be looking for a project leader engineering on a brand new build. A perfect match for Matthew's ambitions. Not as glamorous, let's say, as being uh, in the center of Monaco, but I was looking for more of a challenge career-wise, so and this this was a good opportunity. So it is a, it is a big responsibility, but it's challenging and it's interesting, so it's what I was looking for. But being from outside the EU, Matthew couldn't just move and start. There'd be an immigration procedure, and those things can get pretty complicated. As Matthew uh, was married in Cuba, and he, he and his wife and children uh, born in different places in Canada, but at that moment living in Monaco, we had to actually uh, be in contact with the Canadian government, the Dutch embassy in um, Canada and Cuban authorities to get all the papers. Just the whole process of coming to the Netherlands was quite extensive, you know, just a lot of paperwork and my wife was quite nervous at the time, got the mercy of a government. And that's what's challenging about moving abroad, whether it's overseas or within different countries as a non-EU citizen. But luckily, Middle Point is always able to pull a few strings and within six weeks, Matthew could make the move from Monaco to Flissingen. Yeah, we, we really appreciated their services and efforts because if it would have just been me and my wife to do all that paperwork and process, we, yeah, we probably would have just given up. 